It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. And I'm Sarah. Welcome back to the 25 most notable bourbons in American Rise of 2021. It gets more interesting every day. <laughs> it's very breathy, that one. Very breathy. Yeah. My turn. Oh. Couldn't feel it. Today, ooh, today we will be having Mictor's Toast Barrel. back Mictor's Toasted Barrel 2021 of course that's right this is the fourth Toasted Barrel release so they actually did their first one in 2014 another one in 2015 and then I don't know what happened if they were like well we can't make this an annual release they did didn't do another one until 2018 and then a gap you know a three-year gap between that and now this one it's just that good <laughs> I mean I wonder why but I don't know well they do Let's see, they do age the oak that's used for the toasted barrels for mm -hmm. 18 months, like, I guess season it outside? I don't know what right. they do to it exactly. Yeah. 18 months before they toast it, which is like half that, you know, three year time, so. Right. Roughly math. Yeah, I mean, know you know, <laughs> that that can be somewhat typical, I think, of some barrels. Of, sure. Of some distilleries uh, requirements, you know, that, that uh, the seasoning outside helps to, um, I guess you could say, like dull the, tannic taste that you can get from the wood. Sure, and, and it brings out more of those like vanilla caramels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Supposedly, I don't know, I'm yeah. not a scientist. I'm not sure where they get- I'm not a good... wood expert. <laughs> I'm not a wood scientist. Uh, uh, whatever that's called. Wood matician. Um, so I'm not sure where they're getting their barrels from, but uh, meh, I don't know, let's just smell it. Yeah. Mm. Wow, wow, I don't remember it smelling this good. <sighs> Wow, that was straight up like. I really like this one a lot. I think this is a good seasonal one too. Like, mm -hmm. it just makes me feel so cozy. I yeah. want to drink it this time of year. Ooh. Speaking of nothing, apropos of nothing, Sarah, I've always wanted to say that. There you go. I got to say it. Uh, we have to thank Matt Blair for, uh, again, bringing this to our meetup and leaving it behind for others, which became us because <laughs> everyone was like oh i don't know someone else might want that we'll just leave it for chad and sarah yeah and then chad and sarah's like look at all these bottles it must be my birthday uh <laughs> so yeah there's actually been a couple already on this calendar that we've said thank you for leaving this behind person that was at our uh, last patreon meetup so it really Blair served us well is a patron got to meet him for the first time at, at our meetup mm. and thank you again for leaving this behind because we wanted to include it but we didn't have a bottle I mean, the toasted oak really comes through on the nose. Man, does it. But it's also got that like soft vanilla. Mm -hmm, it almost mm -hmm. reminds me of like a burnt marshmallow. Yes. Yeah. It's vanilla and cinnamon Which, and graham cracker. We often say like the graham cracker, toasted oak, vanilla, marshmallowy notes on toasted but barrels. I don't know. It, but this I don't time know. We if mean it. You've ever noticed that? That's like typically what yeah. we use to describe toasted barrels. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's just interesting how they all kind of have that characteristic. But this one really has it. And it really does have that graham crackery. And at a, you know, lower proof, 91.4, mm. as Michter's often are. It's a nice solid nose. It is. I want to drink it. Huzzah. More sharpness. I don't really mean sharp edges, but more like like a cheese is sharp. I mean, it, it had like I a- I think it's like a sharp oak. Yes, it's a sharp oak. It's a- Pronounced. It's pronounced, pronounced oak. Uh, bomb kind of there in the beginning, but then also then it's it kind of backs off into the vanilla. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Vanilla, and it's almost like a carbonated beverage where it kind of mm. has, you know, if it were a high rye rye, I might say it's like effervescence. With this, I feel like it's more just like, I don't know, it kind of feels carbonated to me. Also, maybe a little bit of a cola note, which might make me be it thinking of carbonated. It does have a little bit of like a cola root beer y, but uh -huh. not quite. Um, that type of vibe. Like I could mm -hmm. get root beer cream soda-ish. Sure. And I think that it's got, again, so much of that like oak up front, which, you know, for this proof is not always expected, I guess. Right. I will say the finish is, I'd call it a medium. Yeah, I mean, it's not a super long finish. Maybe like a medium minus. Medium uh, minus, okay. Yeah, just like, but again, for that proof, I kind of expect that. And it's got a decent mouthfeel. Again, nothing that's gonna be like overwhelmingly good. Mm -hmm. not, I don't mean good, but you know what I mean. Like overwhelmingly notable. Uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, it's pleasant. I love the flavors. I think it's just a nice, cozy pour. You know what else is nice and cozy? What? Our home on the internet, it's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get this bourbon, the thirst mutilator mm. t-shirt that I'm wearing. 
the Glen Cairns. Can't get the sweater there. <laughs> you can't get the sweater there. Maybe, maybe sometime. The Glen Cairns we're drinking from. We also have Copitas rocks glasses, water glasses. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, we also have now candles, pins, challenge coins, hats, hoodies, sweatshirts. More always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. Don't forget to order before you run out of time for Christmas gifts. Um, you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join for as little as one buck a month. Uh, that's where we release our barrel picks and we will have done 15 this year and we are already working on more for next year. Mm -hmm. uh, the opportunity to participate in a barrel pick depending on your tier after the episode exclusives and more. There you go. All right, I think I've only had one sip so far. Oh, I, I've had I, like three. Uh, I mean, yeah, as you said, it wasn't a super long finish, but there was a lot to unpack there on that first sip. Sure. Mm, that graham crackery note. It's like a cinnamon graham cracker. It's really nice. Some whiskeys will say, oh, I'm getting cocktail vibes. Sort of with this one. And I think that's obviously the, the toasted barrel, you know, bringing out more notes. But this one, I don't know. Maybe it is just because it's so holiday mm. kind of centric or fits so well into the holidays. But I'm oddly getting like thoughts of something a lot more viscous like an eggnog. Now, I'm not saying it tastes like eggnog, but I'm just saying. It has kind of like a desserty quality yes. going on. Like like you a creme a, brulee custard, like with that torch you get a top. Nog, a nog feeling? I don't know. I hate eggnog, so <laughs> I cannot participate in this. Or like boiled custard. That's a family he thing. He loves in, boiled in, custard. In my family. Um, but more of that like rich, thick consistency. We're, that, that's we're, what I'm talking about. Me and boiled custard are frenemies. Yeah. I think it's delicious, but we do not get along. <laughs> yeah. Can't be having too much of that. Yeah. Not recommended for anyone to have too much of that. <laughs> I, I do like how this settles into a nice toasted, roasted finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, those marshmallows come to mind. Yeah, it's so nice. Mm. So, Chad, why does this deserve to be on the best of list? Well, uh, you know, I don't want to bang the drum too much of, hey, look, it's another 100 proofer that we say is good, because, you know, that's not everything, although proof sounds for life. I do but think it is notable, though. Like, a lot notable. of our audience probably 90, likes to hang out more in this range. 91.4, so that is something to note. And so much flavor for that 91.4, right? Right, exactly. Um, so I think there's so much flavor for that 91. <laughs> Go ahead. That's taking what you said. Um, but also, you know, the toasted barrel aspect of this really gives it another dimension. Mm. Um, really, again, for a low proof, settles in very nicely here in the chest feels after about three or four sips. It really brings up the the, the toasted barrels, the, the marshmallow, the really good mouthfeel for a low proof too. Um, so for those reasons, I think it's, that's why it's in here. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? Uh, I just say, I mean, I look forward to their toasted barrel and barrel proof finish or not finishes releases. Um, whenever those come out, I always get really excited. Um, there's just something, a certain quality a signature note about Michter's that I really enjoy. And I think this one executes all the flavors really well. Now, my only eh about this one is like, because it's only released what seems like every three years now, it is going to be even harder to find because everybody right. wants it. Yeah. And then it's also now at $100 MSR. RP, which some people would argue for this proof point, you know, is a little much. I think the blood oath runs around this much too, right. similar proof point. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have so much of a problem with that if it's done well, and I think this is executed very well. Most of all, I think I just, you know, we have only a few finished releases in this lineup, and I'm just curious to see, you know, when blind, done blind, do we tend to lean more towards the finished stuff, not towards the finished stuff? Or does it, and, is it just like a fair mix in and where does this one come out? Yeah, and, and I hear what you're saying with, with finished. I mean, it does say toasted barrel finish, but it's not like it's finished in a cask that held anything previous. It's just no. a, a second barreling. But it's getting the influence but of that 18 month old absolutely. seasoned oak. You yes, know? It, it is, it is. So yes, I guess you could say finish. But, Technically it is finished. But to a lesser degree is like something that held Only wood wine flavors have been rum. imparted, yes. Yeah, there you go. So I hear you. And I'm excited yeah. to finish the rest of it. <laughs> yes, thank you, Matt. Uh, so yeah, that's where we'll leave it. Um, hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can come on over, click right up here. The suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, see y'all tomorrow. Until then, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.